Hello everybody, welcome back to Cougar City Gaming. Today we are doing Cougar Talk with Cougars Bay. As always, please remember to check out our Twitter, our Facebook and Instagram account. And of course, you're going to be watching this in our YouTube account. Um, so make sure you uh, like and subscribe to those just to kind of keep up to date with what we're doing. Um, I started this like weekly concept uh, with Cougar Talk. And it's, it's a little bit of a, just a shorter podcast kind of thing, but uh, it's just like a specific topic that, or, uh, you know, like many topics that really uh, I like to, to talk about. Uh, last week we had QuickCon and um, that was, that was pretty fun. Um, it was a very, very long um, video, but it was pretty nice. I talked to, you know, how the VDSR was doing with them and just the state of the game in itself. Uh, but today, you know, we we definitely like to um, to kind of go with some stuff that um, that I've just been thinking about if the game needs. Um, one of those is, you know, jewelry crafting. Um, I was looking at the jewelry crafting the other day and I was like well why why are we still getting dust at least why are we still getting like green and blue dust I don't understand um that's really hard to get stuff nowadays um I mean there there's bot farmers out there yes but um that makes it a little bit easier but when you think about it what if those bot farmers went away, the price of jewelry mats would just skyrocket. Um, one example is look at the price of Perfect Row. The reason Perfect Row used to be like anywhere from 10 to 15K was because we had uh, fishing farming bots. They would fish and um, sell the fish, I guess. And then we, you know, would buy the fish, skin the fish, blah, blah, blah. But there were farming bots out there, you know, they would just farm and fish all day. Well, now Perfect Row is anywhere from 20 to 30 K because those bots were, are gone. <clears throat> so that's like double the price. Now I'm not saying saws should, um, you know, give us better drops as far as you know fishing we they probably should but i think fishing is fine right now that is a item the game that needed to be done you know that way so i really do think that 20 to 30k a perfect row is a nice number but uh for now for now, at least, uh, unless it keeps going up. Like, I, I really do like the 20 to 30K. I think that number is perfect. But back to the jewelry. If that happens, then the Circon platings are around, like, 26 to 30K. So they're going to be, if that happens, it would be, like, 60K. Which, 65K is right now is where the uh, average chromium plating is. Like, 65 to 70K. So we're talking about 140k for a piece for a one chromium plating. One. Imagine having to gold out jewelry. You need 12 chromium platings. Do the math. Do the math. So 12 chromium platings times 140,000 is 1.6 million. Just to go that one set of jewelry. So, I do think that Sauce needs to do something about that. Maybe have it to where, you know, increase the drop rate a little bit on even surveys. Um, you know, maybe the, the refining portion. Have it to where... Um, cause in jewelry writs, like in the rewards that you get from jewelry writs, you do get a chromium plating here and there, and you do get a circum plating here and there. Have it to where that's a little bit more often. And that's, you know, 
maybe have it to where when you refine, you have a chance to pull a chromium plating or a zircon plating or iridium or the the green plating, whatever the green plating is called. I, I can't remember right now. So that's that's what I'm saying. Like, why not have that? Another thing they could do is they could um, they could give us a chance to pull grains from just regular blacksmithing nodes because the blacksmithing nodes are already sharing nodes locations with the jewelry nodes. <clears throat> so have it to where there's a very small chance, very small chance. I'm talking about like a 10% chance that you can get, you know, from a stack of 200, you can get, um, maybe like a green or, um, blue or, you know, in a 5% chance that you can get a purple and then like a 1% chance that you can get a chrome and green. So that's something that you could do. Um, other people have said, you know, maybe not just, just get rid of the grains completely. I don't agree with that. I, I I like the grains. I think they could serve a higher purpose. If you want to keep the grains, put it to where you have, you know, if you get the rubidite or, you know, the blacksmithing and have it to where it's just the top one. So you have to have rubidite grain or, you know, dust to, to do it. That way it encourages players to go up there. It encourages the farmers you know, to, to go after those jewelry and it's just easier. So you could do it that way and then have it to where you lower the, the chances of getting like a full plating out of the actual jewelry dust, the platinum dust, pewter dust, whatever you could do it that way. So basically keep the grains. Um, but have it to where you get like a chromium plating every like two stacks of you know platinum dust or or something like that uh, and then have it to where you get you have a chance to get some grains whenever you refine blacksmithing nodes uh, preferably rubidite that way it it goes and tackles like that niche because it, it encourages, like I said, it encourages players to, to grind out their blacksmithing level and to get it all the way up. So there you go. That's, that's one thing that you can, you can do with the game. So the jewelry crafting, um, I do like that. I wish that we would get a little bit more jewelry stuff that comes out of like the platinum that comes out of the the little reward boxes in the jewelry surveys um not the surveys the 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 writ uh the writ boxes so i wish we could get a little bit of that back um just for the time being to get the the market up to you know a healthy amount <clears throat> right now platinum um platinum ounces are about 10k a stack that's not too bad, but I would like to get them down to like seven to eight K a stack again, because they've they've been there before, and I think seven to eight K a stack would be nice. And then if you had that blacksmithing stuff, um, you could potentially raise the price of the rudite ore by like one to two K. So that's pretty nice. Um, you're racing the, the little floor for, for one thing, but coming down the other, kind of bringing them a little bit together. And that's, that's something that would be pretty cool to see. Now, um, another topic that <clears throat> I want to talk about, and I'm not going to rant like Nephis did because <laughs> Nephis went on a rant yesterday about how the update it's just really bad. The AOEs are really bad. Um, they weren't able to, to get content. And JP said he downplayed the the team, which he did. The team that he was doing it with, um, you know, on console, 
maybe maybe on PC they're like average to end game. You know, it's not the best, but not the worst. So they're like a little bit, you know, top end gaming, top end DPS and and whatnot. But on console, that team is a top two team, top team, hands down, one hundred percent. That team is optimized more than probably any team in our console um, era is. I mean, I blame it on the fact that Sauce was like, "Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna nerf to bring the things together." Obviously, that's not what happened. But the ten percent nerf to the bosses and such. Across the board, it's, yeah, it's nice start, but, <clears throat> like, come on, let's get real. <laughs> You're gonna need to, like, Godslayer and Planesbreaker and the Trifactor from VDSR, I can guarantee you, the way that this update is, I highly doubt that anybody on console will be able to do it. There's um, there's a couple of people that have said they're they're probably going to just just farm gear for a patch because or you know do something else for a patch. It's not obtainable, and F says the same thing, and this is where I I agree with them that. For for PC is even worse because this is the shortest quarter, and the PTS for the next cycle starts in three weeks. Three weeks. So you're telling me that you have to because they're gonna have to grind out new gear and such to figure out what is best. Um, at that point, you know, you, they might go into the PTS and test it first before actually grinding it out. Which would make sense. Um, that's probably what I would do. But then again, you still have to go form the pieces in the regular server. And by the time that's said and done, you have maybe like a week left before the new PTS comes out. So you are going to have to change stuff again, most likely. Now, <clears throat> for them, I just, that's where you just take a break. Um, not necessarily from the game, but maybe do something else. Maybe get back into the, you know, go do the weeklies and such. Um, kind of do that. I don't know. I mean, it, it, it really, I, I don't know. That's, that's where you do the, the, the weeklies maybe. I have no idea. You do something else. But I don't think that they should be looking into what's gonna like they should be farming anything. If if anything, this is the patch that I would just go on PTS to try to figure out what can be done and what feedback to give the developers <clears throat> in order to say hey you know, this this is what we need to do because obviously it's not working. <laughs> and Merck even said that Neff has overreacted. He watched or he listened to the video on the way home from work. I mean, I, I do agree it is a little bit of an overreact, but he made a lot of good points in that video. So just saying. That, that maybe is not the best thing. Um, but like I said, this this is a patch where for at least PC, if I were on PC, I would just get on PTS, kind of see what works, and potentially, like, theory craft for next patch. Um, and just do some random stuff, you know, like the new dungeons, you know, go out and do the new dungeons, go out and maybe do the weeklies, you know, have some fun, laid back action with the group. I know, like, some groups are not going to like that. But 
to be honest, it's either that or quit or quit the game for the patch. Um, <clears throat> if you're on console, then you better get God Slayer or Planesbreaker or the Hard Motive Dread Seal before this patch comes down. Um, I know our chill team is literally trying to get VCR hard mode before this patch comes down. Um, we might be adding like an extra run here or there because we're really close and we don't want to go backwards, um, which we we will if that's the case. But, I mean, hopefully it's, it is what it is. Um... You know, the, the focus just needs to be there. But, like I said, if if you have, you know, a, a prog that you're in and you're really close, and it's something that... I'm not saying it won't be obtainable the next patch, but, like, it'll be a little bit harder. You'll be taking a step back with your group. Go ahead and get it done. Do whatever needs to do. Like, I know a God Slayer prog has been doing every day, every single day, until the patch drops to try to get it. It's basically every single day until they get it. And and I don't know what they're going to do after that, but they're doing something. So, <clears throat> hopefully, you know, that's, that's what they do. So, other than that, that's, that's all I can tell you guys to focus on. Um, we'll see what happens. I believe console has a little bit more time. We have about, let's say, we have about a month and a half <clears throat> of this. So, like, just go out and do weeklies. Go out, have some fun in the game. Um, do the new content. Um, farm the sticker book. I don't know. Like, might as well, right? If you see a set that's, like, really good, go and farm the sticker book for it because it might be better next patch i don't know um i hope that saws does something though to to give us a little bit more damage because they they literally just took and th this is they, they proved a lot of people right they literally just took the content that some people like instead of the the top team being able to do it the, the top three or four teams would be able to do it. Now, the top team might be able to do it. And that's a very, very iffy might. Might. Might be able to do it. And the other teams are like, well, that sucks for us. So, what they were trying to do, obviously, did not work the way they wanted it to work. Um, or they didn't word it the way they wanted it to word it at. So hopefully, they they did make a lot of changes in the patch notes in the PTS. So they did listen a little bit when it came to that. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like down them that much. This uh, it shouldn't have happened. Period. But you know what? That's it is what it is. Um, but they did make a lot of changes in. I don't know. I just I feel that this situation is from a much higher up person than than the developers. Um, this doesn't seem like the natural sauce. And one thing we talked about the podcast that we were thinking that they were gonna do. Obviously, it's not. They're not doing it anymore. But uh, or maybe not doing it now. Where you know they're raising the DPS from support. That way, you know, support can actually DPS a little bit and creates a hybrid meta for support as well, which would be pretty awesome because it it's a whole new gameplay to the support um, that I would be excited to do and it would make a lot of people be excited to play tanks. So, um, I'm not I'm not saying. It isn't, but it should be. Like I said, it's. Let's see how this update goes. Um, 
go have fun. Uh, I don't think anybody should stop playing the game. I really do think it's, you know, this is this is the mean patch. This is the patch where, um, you know, go out, do some fun stuff that you've wanted to do. Sticker book farm um, sets that you think might be a, a thing. That way you don't have to do it later. And, you know, see what your, your raid team does. See who really in the team is, like, here for the long haul. Because the people that are, are going to quit right away at the first sign of weakness... I'm not saying it's bad, you know, they, they're probably frustrated. I, I understand I'm frustrated myself, but if people quit at the first sign of weakness, then obviously, you know, that's that's a problem. And in a way, that's something that later down the road, you might not want in the team because, you know, when going got tough, then people quit. So it is what it is. Um, it's a good chance to reevaluate teams, hopefully in a good way, but, you know, thank you guys for, for watching this, um, our Cougar City Boosters, Boss Style, Cougar Space, Scoring Music, X Reading X, Smirk 271, and then make sure you, uh, check out our Patreon, and then PvP Night with Scoring is gonna be Saturday nights, um, eventually she, she has told me that she wouldn't be open to making it more than one night a week, but they're just going to start with one night a week and go from there. And that's that's how a lot of teams in our guild have started. They started one night a week, and then they've gone to, you know, three nights a week. So we'll see how it goes with that. The other teams, obviously, we have, you know, our chill team Tuesday through Thursday, our turbo team that meets on Friday nights, and then the Monday Night Madness, which... They are doing a naked Hellra run, most likely normal, um, where you just got class abilities in, in, I think, weapon abilities, I think, if you pick, I don't know. I know they're doing a naked run. It's, it's all on Discord, so make sure you guys get on our Discord as well, um, you know. Thank you again for watching. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to not only our youtube channel but like our instagram our twitter and our facebook page so thank you guys Hala.